Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode. Today, I'm going to talk about DHEA. But before I get into it, I just want to share something. I want you to know that getting older does not have to mean that everything goes downhill. It doesn't have to mean that you're going to sleep poorly, that you're going to have aches and pains, that you're going to be tired, that you're going to lose your memory. All of these things are common, but that doesn't mean that they are normal. And it's not how we as humans are supposed to age. And we know this because some people do age gracefully. And there are people in the world who live very long, healthy, active lives. And so if this were something that were inevitable, then everyone would experience this, but it's not. So it's really a matter of taking care of your body, of getting the sleep you need, of eating well, of being active, so that you are able to age gracefully and continue sleeping well and feeling well and having plenty of energy and keeping your memory. So I just want to share that first, because that's what I truly believe, that we can live a healthy life into old age. And that's definitely what I'm shooting for. And one of the main reasons why I am so passionate about health and about what I do. Okay, now let's talk about DHEA. So DHEA is a powerful hormone that promotes growth and repair. And low levels of this hormone are an early warning sign that your adrenal system isn't functioning well. So DHEA is the parent of all sex hormones. So when I see clients whose DHEA is low, most likely, or I see it often, that their other sex hormones are low as well. So estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. And that's because you need DHEA to make those sex hormones. And when these hormones are depleted, especially estrogen and progesterone in women and men, that can directly lead to insomnia. Now, one of the most important functions of DHEA is that it actually counter-regulates cortisol. While cortisol is a necessary hormone for dealing with acute stress and flighting information, inflammation, it also breaks down your body. It's what's called a catabolic hormone. So when I look at my client's hormone balance, I'm looking at the balance between cortisol and DHEA, for one. And so if cortisol is higher than DHEA, that means that the body is in that catabolic state. It means the body's breaking down. And so chronic stress, whether that's physical or mental, inflammation, poor blood sugar regulation, toxins, and certain medications are going to lower DHEA and stimulate cortisol. So it's going to create that imbalance. And so when this happens, it affects your energy production, your body chemistry, even your immune activity. So pretty much all the systems of your body start breaking down one by one and stop functioning well when you're in this catabolic state. And which system breaks down first is going to be different for everyone, depending on your personal body, your genetics. So that is why we get, as people, we get different symptoms, but it's still all coming from stress and the body breaking down. Now, symptoms of low DHA are going to be fatigue, even depression, low sex drive, aching joints brittle bones, and lowered immunity. Now, you know, cortisol, as I've talked about many times, is one of the main hormones that causes insomnia. And so you need to have enough DHEA to keep that cortisol in balance. So for my clients with low DHEA, I recommend that they supplement with it for a short period of time to build up their levels. But we also are reducing stress and cortisol at the same time, so that the body starts making enough DHEA on its own. And I always want to find out why DHEA is low and fix it instead of just supplementing with DHEA forever. And usually it is low from chronic stress where the body prioritizes making cortisol and it takes those resources away from making DHEA and our sex hormones. Now, I do want to mention that you want to be careful supplementing with DHEA. 
and testosterone because some people metabolize these hormones in a way that makes them stronger. So they metabolize down this more androgen um, pathway. And so this can lead to symptoms of excess androgen, such as acne and oily skin and infertility, high blood pressure or cholesterol, and PCOS in women is usually from this estrogen and androgen dominance. Now, this is why I use the Dutch test to look at hormones, because it's a very comprehensive hormone test that shows how those hormones are being broken down by the body. And it, so it's going to show if you're susceptible to converting those hormones into androgens. So a lot of times, you know, someone can be low in DHEA, but if they have this um, androgen pathway that they're preferring, then I'm really cautious and use a really low dose of DHEA. So that is something that you want to know before just supplementing with that. And, you know, I also never recommend taking supplements, especially hormones, just based on symptoms. So I don't recommend supplementing with DHEA unless you know you need it, unless you've been tested. Because these symptoms, the same symptoms of low DHEA are also there for low progesterone and low estrogen. And so if you take DHEA and you are have too much estrogen, for example, you can make things much worse. So that's why I believe in testing instead of guessing. Trying supplements to see if they can help can actually get your body more out of balance. And so the functional lab tests I do show exactly what's going on with the hormones in your body. So I know what to recommend for you to take. Because although my clients all have insomnia, the exact causes why are different for each of them. Now, I do want to mention that DHA can also be too high, usually when cortisol is also elevated. So it will become depleted over time. But in the beginning of the stress response, DHEA can be too high. And this can happen from stress, from alcohol use, from insulin resistance, and PCOS. And so both high DHEA and cortisol give you energy, so they can both lead to insomnia as well. So this is why a customized approach is so important. And this is what I do in the Complete Sleep Solution Program. We do lab tests so we know what's going on in your body because it's different for everyone. And we help you restore your health so that you can sleep normally. And you can schedule a free consultation. You can find the link to that in the show notes. We'll talk about what's going on with your sleep and how the lab testing works so you can see if this program is a good fit for you. All right, I will talk to you next week.